Okay, yo Iron Man starting down south and this time around they're mixing it up. Look at that. Two T32s, two T69s and that 1390. Actually, I believe this is the same type they actually went last week in the Masters League when they, I forgot if it was uh, which team they actually faced off against on mines, but they, I, I remember this tank lineup coming up from the Immortals, or not, excuse me, not the Immortals, from your from Iron, Iron Man. Man. I, I believe it was against Efficiency actually, quite possibly, like, uh, in the quite final. Possibly. And, and they pulled it off brilliantly they actually. Did. They They really like to use those T32s. They post those T32s right in the center of the hilltop and then they use those other three tanks to kind of just control the rest of the map. I think uh, they even like just uh, were reassured in their choice of lighter tanks because of the Immortals selection. Yeah. Like I mean, the Immortals the rolling out with like five heavy tanks so they're gonna have no other option but to just squat that central hilltop yeah. which is gonna give a lot of free reign uh, to uh, TMDK moving castle and Edison 99 yeah, uh, to actually just go for flanking maneuvers. I mean right now they're all like concentrated um, uh, around the hilltop. Both uh, teams, yeah. Both teams are, but the thing is, uh, I don't think it's going to stay this way because uh, um, Yo Armin definitely have the option of, especially like TMDK uh, with his uh, 1390, he definitely has the option of going to that West Town and taking out the T1, for instance. I, I definitely have to agree with you there. If Yo Armin continue to stay in this spot, they're eventually going to lose out on the poke war, especially if. I mean, if, if both teams are landing equal amount of shots onto each other, eventually the Immortals are going to have the upper hand just due to the fact that they have more heavily armored tanks. And what your Iron Man got to do is to, pre to prevent that is have, have more control of the map and be able to fire down uh, shots onto the Immortals from different directions. Indeed. Right now, uh, TMDK and his 1390 uh, has decided to go to the east, actually. Uh, so to the eastern part of... He actually takes down the T1, so that's one down. Yeah. Uh, now all he's got to do is take care of the other T1 on the west tower. And after that is done, Edison could actually move there with his T69 yeah. and that would be a sniper's delight. Exactly. That would be awesome for your Iron Man to actually be able to pull that off. And right now, TMDK, yeah, moving over towards... I don't know if he's actually going to go way over there. I think the he's going to go Island. to the west out. Like, he's just, like, really getting out of dodge. He's making sure that he's not taking any Oh, but look at this shots. push coming up from the Immortals. Yeah, yeah, there's, there is a push because uh -oh. the Immortals have realized they can't just wait. Yeah. They cannot just wait. They would just, like, get mangled if they did. So, uh, yeah, it's it's really good. It's a smart move. Uh, yeah, definitely, by, definitely, definitely. By the Immortals. They're taking plenty of punishment now, but uh, look at that. Moving Castle has already uh, taken plenty of hits as well. No, they're, so, they're uh, trading damage really well right yeah, now. The they Immortals are, they are, are actually ahead. Yeah, the Immortals are ahead, but that's quite natural because uh, they, they've got the heavier tanks. Edison, Edison. 99 is almost, is almost gone. Non-TW, oh, Moving yeah. Castle goes down. That, that's a brilliant maneuver, actually, by yeah. the Immortals. Actually, the Immortals might actually take this out. Oh, Another they, they one probably goes will. down. Yeah, they probably yeah. will. Remember, the Immortals are the team that actually beat PvP Super Friends yep, yep. on mine, starting down south. So yeah. uh, they know how to, how to deal. Uh, you know, punishment to those who are trying to surround them. Yeah, and exactly. look at that, this Another is completely one-sided. One I mean, those five heavy tanks are just like really, really creating so much havoc. Yeah, and this is why the Immortals love these heavy tanks so much, is that they can just bully their way through the center of the map. Once they realize, uh, once they see an opportunity, once they see an opening, like a, even a slight flaw in the enemy defense, they just go straight for that. Indeed. Now Rex is just uh, down as well, so uh, TMDK is going to go down too. That's going to leave us with two T1s. Yep. He's the last T8 remaining, tier 8 remaining right there. Only two tier 1s remaining right now on uh, your Iron Man side. And this is going to go to Decider actually, so the fifth set is really going to decide who moves on and that's going to be, I mean, do you remember what the, is it White Park? Uh, no, White Park was taking that alongside Airfield as well, mm -hmm. so we're going to move that means we're gonna play on steps. Okay, okay, steps. So, wow, that's actually a really interesting map to end on. Just due to the fact that one team loves heavy tanks and one team actually likes to go kind of a di diverse setup. So it might be like heavy tanks versus like a, 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 mo a mobility. A I'm not sure though, I, I, yes, you know,